To update the firmware on the ESP8266 modules, you've got to put them into bootloader mode. Now, if you've got a um, a revision 2, that's got like a um, a little 45 degree bend on it, compared to the 90 degree there. Um, on the revision 2, it all gets done automatically, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, on the revision 1, you've actually got to um, short out some pins and in order to, to force it to, to boot up. So when you when you plug it in initially you should find that the blue LED flashes quite a lot. Um, now to, um, to put it into bootloader mode you need to hold that pin there um, which is I think GPIO naught down to ground while pulsing that pin which is reset. So if you get a piece of wire and you um, you just put it into ground which is there you could use the shield of USB and then you very carefully hold it onto that pin and just touch it onto there and let go um, the blue LED will flash just once and that's put it into bootloader mode um, now there's also um, uh, a power pin around about here so you want to be quite careful that you don't short it out and if you're worried about doing that just um, use a low value resistor instead of using a piece of wire but that's it, that's all you need. Um, and now, when you follow the instructions on the website and you run ESP tool, that will update everything um, on, the, on the chip.